Salam and welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watches resides. Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you see the Bulgari Novelty, so some of the novelties 2024. If you're watching this video, please do also be sure to watch all our other videos concerning the new watches coming out on the market in 2024. Bulgari has done some line extensions. The watches you see here are not all new in sense of they have not been inventing the wheel again, but they have been changing design and appearance of those watches. So we are in the Octo Automatic in a black coated DLC version. I jump over to the chronograph in the same type of case. It's a black, black, black watch. So it's almost all black besides of the Super Luminova coating you see but the rest is almost all black. We have a Clou de Paris dial, but it's a black DLC coated case. And there is one edition, black and green. This is a version that in the first year, meaning this year, will only be sold in the Middle East and the watch will be available worldwide next year. And yeah, to celebrate the 140th anniversary of that legendary brand founded by a Greek. You all know the story. If not, please check out our video concerning the history about Bulgari. And they celebrate their 140th anniversary with a new version of their sketches. You probably remember they did that before on the Octo Finissimo. These are two Octo Finissimo. This is Octo Roma, by the way. I didn't say it. Octo Roma, Octo Roma, Octo Roma. Automatic, chronograph automatic. And here we are in the Octo Finissimo, but still the Octo collection. And to celebrate the 140th anniversary, we do have the sketch. It's a drawing of the movement. You see what you see on the dial as the movement. It's on the other side of the case. The steel version will be sold in addition of 280 pieces and red gold version, guess what? Okay, half of it of 140 makes 70. So a little bit of mathematics also. 280, 70 pieces here and the other ones are unlimited. I will start talking about the Octo Roma first. So stay tuned in the second part of the video where we'll show you the sketches to celebrate the 140th anniversary of that Italian brand based in Rome. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Talking about the new Octo Roma automatic steel DLC, diamond-like carbon. <laughs> this is what the DLC means, diamond-like carbon. It's a coating being put on the steel case. I will start with the two automatic watches. I will put the chrono beside for the moment. It will come back on your picture. But let me start with the two automatic watches. Once again, to repeat that, the green version will start with, it will be only available in the Middle East in 2024, but worldwide next year. Why? I don't know, but this is how it is. So if you are keen to get that in green, you have to go somewhere, Dubai or, yeah, Dubai would be a good idea. Make a little holiday and then you can buy this watch also there. And it is, when you watch this video, already available in retail. They started selling this in March already. So you could go after it. So let me give you the interesting figures or the details, technical details about this watch. We're talking about a watch with a diameter of 41 millimeter. The thickness of this watch is 9.15 millimeters and the lock to lock distance. So we always give you that length of the watch, meaning I always try to measure the length of the watch. So you have an idea when you put it on your wrist, how big it is. And it is 44 millimeters. Interesting is, we are talking about a case that has a diameter of 41 millimeters, but what do you really see when you look at the dial? This is what we call the dial aperture. And we give this number because I've been reading in the comments that you're interested in, and it's always an indication how big the dial in real is. And it is only, yeah, what you guess, 32 millimeters. So the rest is cosmetics around. That's how it is. To also mention it, if you say, okay, how does the watch fit on the wrist? You measure it. If it tapers, it does. So it is 20.3 millimeters in between the lugs. I hear some of you screaming already, but uh, they will stop screaming soon when I unveil the secret behind the 23.5. Yeah, no. It's a bit of a weird number and it tapers down to the class plus 17. Why is this just a, let's say, fantasy figure? Because the watch features a quick exchange mechanism where you can just press on a button and take this rubber strap off. And when you buy the watch, the watch comes with a second strap, a second strap. And this is here. I have it here. Beside it is 
An alligator strap in black, where I will make it shine into the light. The watch comes with both of them and you choose how to wear it and you just click it in. It's a kind of quick extension system. You go there and you click it in. It's just you have to hear the click and then you know it is fixed. There is no rocket science. You don't need any tooling. You can do it with gloves. Gloves are always slippery when you touch those watches. So if I can do it, you see it's fixed, nothing. And the watch is a different watch has become an elegant watch now and uh, yeah this is uh, when you're wearing it for a more elegant occasion you should not go swimming or take a shower with that leather strap because it won't look very nice anymore afterwards probably have you seen me doing it it's no rock and i will not repeat that with the other watches that show it but really there is this release button here you press on it and then you just pull the strap out and you take this is rubber and you just come you get in between the locks and you press and you hear a click a solid click and then you know you have been clicking it in same happens here you press on the button you take it out rubber and you get back in there and you just have to find the two hold tuck you see and you have a watch that is 100 meter waterproof. So you have a sports watch, very elegant on top, black, 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 some pretty nice super luminova coating. There is our loom shot. Nice, nice, I have to say, they have done an excellent job. Readability, what do you think is excellent because you have a high contrast black dial. And if I talk about the dial, let me turn the watch a little bit in the light. If you look on it like this, it seems that it is a black dial. But if you go a little bit here, you see it's kind of a clue de Paris pattern. And that gives and delivers quite interesting reflections when you play around in light with it. Sometimes, as you see here, it appears completely black. And if you play around in light, even if it is only artificial light in our case, you will see that there is a different appearance of that dial coming and going. Very nicely done, I have to say. The movement is being showcased behind a smoked dial, so the movement is a little bit brighter than it appears on your screen because the uh, sapphire crystal that has been, uh, been used is smoked a little bit. It is a Bulgari movement, the Bulgari 191, automatic movement, 4 Hz, 28800 semi oscillations. You do see the balance wheel here, and with a power reserve of 42 hours. Yep. The same with that green version that, as I said, will be this year only sold in the Middle East. All the numbers I've been giving you first thickness, lug to lug, dial aperture, tapering, etc. is the same. There's no difference. It's just another color. And now, guess what? What do you think or how do you think this watch is sold? It is sold with another black rubber strap. So you don't get a green leather strap or a black leather strap. It is sold with a black rubber strap. And you have the same mechanism here. You press on it and then you can release the strap and you can plug it in again. And I will not do the exchange once again because it gets boring probably. But here, same, same. We have a nicely done Bulgari rubber strap. As you can see, you have the smoked case pack, sapphire crystal. You have the same indications, date indication, etc., etc. Everything is here. Same movement. <laughs>
One eighth of a second, in theory, one eighth of a second, because readability of a black hand on a black dial is, yes, questionable, but I wouldn't say that this is an instrument someone will buy to do any measurements. It's a lifestyle instrument. It's a cool watch. It's just something you want to have or not. So all those buying the watch will probably not discuss the fact that, yeah, okay, black on black is not the best distinction of colors to read something. But still, even the graduation in between the three dots, the graduation has correctly been done. So all, all details have absolutely been done correctly. Nothing is wrong on that dial. One could have, yeah, but then we would have come out of the color scheme. We could have had a little red dip on the hand and on the linked indications to the chronograph, but then we would have gone out of that beautiful black white color scheme. Okay. The date disc is black, of course, so no appearance of a date that disturbs. It is 4.30, not ideal for some of you, I know that. But where else could you put it here? Then you would have interrupted the 6 of the 12-hour counter. You could have put it on top, then you wouldn't have the typical 12 of the Bulgari. So 4.30 was the option to choose. I know some of you don't like that, but okay. I don't think the position is so bad, because having it here, you don't disturb any thing a watch should show you. 42 millimeters. The thickness of this case is 12.4 millimeter. The so-called log to log distance, meaning the length of the watch in this case is 46 millimeter and the dial aperture. <laughs> It will, be, it will be a stunning number I give you now is only 34 millimeters. So what you read is 34 millimeters and the rest is um, yeah, design and yeah, makes the watch an octoroma, but the dial itself is 34 millimeters. The straps are tapering down from 23.5 to 17. Same here. It's not something they have been doing to prevent you of buying any not OEM straps. It's just because it is 23.5 because it is the quick extension also available here you have this watch coming also with a leather strap. But before doing this, I wanted to show you the watch from the side to explain you something that might be interesting for you. As you can see, there are two levels. The watch has two levels. So the base movement is the same as the one you saw in Octo Automatic. So they use the same base movement. This is why the push pieces and the crown are more or less close to the wrist. And on top, you do have a modular construction to start that but everything is in-house, so it is Bulgari Bulgari. They don't buy anything and put on top, so they have been developing this by their own, but they use the same base movement as in the automatic version. Start, stop, reset. I will quickly show you this. Now I stop, you see, I've been stopping it, starting it. The haptic feedback from the movement, by the way, on my thumb is not bad. I like it. And then we have the reset and then please watch that the minute counter that is actually at about 15 minutes and the hour counter showing as well. 15 minutes will reset to zero. Please watch carefully. It will happen now. Everything has been reset to zero as you can see. So chronograph, more or less, I would say a lifestyle chronograph. Yeah, that's how it is. Don't complain about, yeah, where well, you can't read. Buy something else if you don't like that, because this is a lifestyle chronograph, but a cool one. And as well here, as you can interchange the straps, you can easily then um, change them. Here is the alligator strap that comes along with. You can just take it and uh, click it on. And uh, when I take away the other half and put the... Uh, the leather strap instead you will see the watch look changes quite a lot and what you get here is a quite elegant looking nice chronograph but with a total different appearance since pretty much the entire surface is the strap of a watch it's not the watch head itself a huge part of the appearance of a watch is always the strap and you see it appears completely different, more elegant, and yeah, it could be worn as even an elegant watch if you want. If you have enough yeah, space under the sleeves of your shirts, <laughs> you could then also wear it. So nice and don't have to be any additional. It is included in the price and with the rubber strip and the rubber strip a little bit also reflects the surface of the, you see here, when I play around in the light, it is the Clou de Barry surface that is also here on the strap. You do also find on the dial. So nicely, nicely done. Price-wise, the watch you see here, including 
Victor Leather strap that comes with it is 10,900 euro excluding tax. So whatever tax appears to your country, you have to add. 10,900 is a price excluding taxes. If I bring back the watches we have seen before, I will also give you the price here. It is 8,900 euro, 8,900 euro excluding taxes. You have to add the tax. And of course, also this watch comes with uh, the leather strap. So both, here it is. And if I take the special edition done for Middle East this year, and this is the offering you get these other straps, including the watch you get as well for 8,900 euro, excluding tax. So you have to add the tax and this is what you get when you buy the green version. And if you're keen to buy that green version, you have to go to the Middle East. I recommend Dubai. Uh, because also in Dubai the taxes are quite low or not existing, so it would be a good guess to buy such a watch there. Part 2. A watch I very much like. I saw it the first time this morning when we joined here in Bulgaria and I had to say, yeah, very good idea to continue that story of some sketches on the dial. And you remember that the first edition of this watch had the design of the dial as a sketch on the dial. <laughs> It was more or less the original sketch, Fabrizio de Bonamassa, the design director of Bulgari, Fabrizio Bonamassa, had done in the past and they just reprinted it. Now they are reprinting what you see on the backside, that movement. I will show it to you in all details, but I just want to quickly show it to you. So this is the automatic movement with that micro rotor and you do see it on the front side. You have the micro rotor here, this is the escapement. They do also indicate a little bit what you see here and so on. So nicely done once again and you have the minutes, the hours and the running second here as you would have had it on any other comparable Octo Finissimo watch. Why are they doing this? I said in the beginning of the video they are celebrating their 140th anniversary, 1880 for to 2024. So we do have in the steel version 280 pieces limited and in the rose gold version that will come on the screen very quickly, 70 pieces. This is what it is. So what do you have here? It is a 40 millimeter steel case. The thickness of the entire watch is 6.4 millimeters. So it's a thin watch. Considering what it does, especially when we are talking about the movement, the movement itself is only 2.23 millimeter thick, so this is really something. There is, first of all, the indication of a limited edition, because it is a limited edition, 280. It is written on the sapphire crystal, and you can clearly recognize what you see uh, on the front side. It is a 3 hertz movement, 21,600 semi oscillations, a movement that has 60 hours of power reserve, not bad at all. And what you see on the front side is exactly the same, but as a sketch. How do they bring that on the dial? It is a watchmaking technique called décalque in French, en français c'est du décalque. And it's a kind of stamp to create the drawing on the dial. So you take the color and you, in several processes, you stamp it on and then you dry it and then it gets what you see. Process that has been also used to print the dials in general in the Swiss watch industry, but this is how it is done. I do have a question for you. You see a delicate watch, quite thin, doesn't look very sporty in sense of compared to other watches. How waterproof do you think? this delicate, nice watch is 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, or what do you think? Hmm? Do I hear something? 50? Do I hear more? Um, someone more? Okay, 100, yes! 100 meters, so. <laughs> yeah. How they did it? The new construction of the case is a little bit figured than the original Octo Finissimo, and by doing this, they were able to integrate a screw down crown the um, first edition didn't have. So this crown is a screw down crown. You see here, I unscrewed it and now we are in the position to pull the crown out. You see here, clearly, first position. This is winding, in theory, you want to wind the watch. First position, I set it 60 hours power reserve and then you screw. 
and I will do this and you see from the side I've been screwing it in and when it is screwed in the watch is waterproof up to 100 meters so really a sports watch very elegant and very nicely done to celebrate this anniversary 1884-2024 now let me show you the gold one that is much heavier wow it's really you get a piece of gold but a piece of gold that is for sure also waterproof 100 meters so you can wear this watch and you can easily keep it on your wrist when you dive into the pool or whatsoever or you go swimming you can wear it it is 100 meter waterproof as well all the measurements i have been giving you are the same so there's nothing different here everything the same it's 18 karat rose gold 40 millimeter is a diameter we have a lucky luck 47 dial aperture 33 millimeters and the bracelet tapers down from 29 to here we have 29, I didn't see that with the steel version, we have 29 in between the lugs to 20 millimeters in the folding clasp. So 29 to 20 is the tapering, but all the rest is the same. You do see the same sketch. We have the micro rotor with the balance wheel. Here's the running second. You have the hour and minute hand and all the rest that has been taken. Once again, from sketches coming from Fabrizio Di Bonamassa, the art director, design director of Bulgari, and it was him who created this wonderful design of this. This is, this is a success story, and I've been pointing it out in several of the other videos. Every decade has, yeah, has an iconic design, and it's very rare that the watch industry comes out with a new iconic design. And I would even say in the last two decades, nothing else than this was presented that I would want to mention as a new iconic design. You see, this is the famous Bulgari Movement 138 automatic with a micro rotor. The caliber is decorated by hand with Côte de Genève, chump fairing and perlage finishing. So more or less haute horlogerie treatment on the watch. And here only 70 pieces. So we have 280 in the steel and 70 in the gold version. Thin and full gold. There is no cheating, so you see that these are full gold elements and they have not been milled out here. So they are not being saving any money by taking out gold from the backside. I have seen straps that do this. I think this is awful. Either you can afford a gold watch or not, but uh, I don't know. Okay, beautifully done. The Octo Finissimo sketch watch in steel is sold for 17,800 euro excluding taxes, limited to 280 pieces. The gold version is sold for 51,500 euros excluding taxes. Once again, I have to say this, I have to point that out. And the rose gold version is limited to 70 pieces. So, thanks very much for watching my video. You have been seeing lots of watches. I put them here quickly. My cameraman is, we have the, you know, the green one. You, you remember here, I have the green one and we have the black chronograph. And not to forget, I will only show you the watch head because I have been taking away the strap. This was the automatic. Thanks again um, for watching one of our videos on Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watches are the stars. The only thing you saw in this video were watches and details. This is how Watch Advice ticks. No personal show, you just hear my voice. Alexander, your host, is saying goodbye and be sure to come back on our channel as soon as possible. Bye bye.